Thanks to an arbitrary and and undemocratic process in the Senate, Democrats won't be able to include a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. Now the unelected Senate parliamentarian who can be fired by the way, by Senator Chuck Schumer said that the provision for a pathway to citizenship that is included in the budget reconciliation bill cannot stand. So in a meeting with Senate parliamentarian Elizabeth McDonough, earlier this month, Senate Democrats made their case to include a path to legalization for millions of immigrants in the massive economic bill. That's the budget reconciliation bill. Now Democrats argued their plan to give roughly 8 million immigrants an opportunity to apply for green cards in the country would have a major economic impact. A pitch they hoped would convince her to allow them to include it in a complicated budget process known as reconciliation. That would allow Democrats who lack the 60 votes necessary in the Senate to overcome the Senate filibuster to pass the bill with only Democratic votes, meaning only a simple majority. Now, in order to do that though, in order for the Senate parliamentarian to agree to it, the Democrats would have to prove again that it would have an impact on the federal budget. I think that they made their case pretty clearly, but this unelected figure, who by the way used to work for the previous version of ICE, okay, she used to be basically a lawyer on behalf of ICE, right? She's saying, like, no, the positive impact that it would have on undocumented immigrants and their lives overshadows the budgetary impact that it would have. Which is a weird argument to make, but that's the argument she makes. She's totally, she could be totally irrelevant, but Democratic senators refuse to do anything about it. So if I was a Senate Majority Leader, what, what would I do? Um, I'd fire her immediately and then get someone else. And then if they disagreed, I'd fire them and I'd get somebody else until I found somebody who agreed. Or just get rid of that role yeah. entirely. Right, well, for, I'd get rid of the filibuster and you wouldn't need the parliamentarian to make these silly rulings in the first place if there's no filibuster. So, but I tell you that because in Washington, that's considered sacrilege. Like if they watch this, they go, oh, get thug. You know, can you believe? That he would just do whatever was necessary that was perfectly legal and acceptable, and that's been done in the past uh, to get the bills passed to help Americans. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. No, but it's and so if you're not doing that, you care more about rules, not even laws, internal Senate etiquette and rules that they came up with a long time ago that have nothing to do with the actual voters than you do about the things that you said you were gonna do for them. And from a political perspective, that's absurd. No one in their right mind would ever believe that. The only reason you have something like the filibuster and the parliamentarian is so you have an excuse not to do the things you promised your voters. Yeah, that's exactly right. And one recent example of the Senate parliamentarian essentially you know, getting fired, being ignored and all that was during the Trump administration in order to pass Trump's tax cuts for the rich. That wasn't even meant to help Americans. That was just meant to help corporate donors and the rich with massive tax cuts. And so we've seen it happen in the past. It's just that it's happened in the past on behalf of the nation's wealthy, as opposed to, you know, for the best interests of Americans and the constituents that these senators are supposed to be representing. Now, what did the provision entail? I just want to give some context into that. The rejected provisions would open multi year doorways to legal permanent residence and perhaps citizenship for young immigrants brought illegally to the country as children, often referred to as dreamers. Also included would be immigrants with temporary protected status who have fled countries stricken by natural disasters or extreme violence, essential workers and farm workers. And by the way, these are people who are abused by their employers. Since they're here illegally, oftentimes they're underpaid, oftentimes they work in poor working conditions. So obviously it's incredibly important to create a pathway for citizenship because these are essential workers that we're talking about. These are dreamers that we're talking about, people who were brought here as children. They know no other country other than the United States where they grew up. And so I wanna go to the statement from Chuck Schumer who again, could fire the Senate parliamentarian, but refuses to do so. He claims we are deeply disappointed in this decision. Ooh. But the fight to provide lawful status for immigrants in budget reconciliation continues. Really? How? It How? Doesn't. It doesn't continue. Don't, 
Like the lies are so disgusting. He also says that Senate Democrats have prepared alternate proposals and will be holding additional meetings with the Senate parliamentarian in the coming days. Fire <laughs> her, fire her and get rid of that role entirely. They act like they don't have any power. Look, but you're right, Jenk. He knows, he knows, he knows that he can fire her. He's using her as a cover, right? They don't really want to do this. They don't want to include the provision, which is why they're just listening to this unelected person in the Senate who shouldn't have any control at all over this legislation. So look, you, you guys can tell that we're telling you the truth and the politicians, and the corporate media isn't. How? It's easy. You, you know what McConnell did when the parliamentarian disagreed with him? He fired him. Yeah. Easy. He didn't even think twice about it. Oh, you, you don't agree with the Republican agenda, you're fired. And the next person immediately agreed with the Republican agenda, a, a problem solved. So it's not even a trick to keep Republicans and Democrats from doing the things that they promised their voters. It's only a trick to keep Democrats from doing it. When the Republicans don't like what the parliamentarian says, it's you can Google it, you can look it up yourself. They immediately fire the parliamentarian. So this is the dumbest thing in the world. So when you see anyone on cable news talking about how important the parliamentarian is, understand that they're either completely ignorant, which is usually the case. They don't know anything about politics or news, they're just news actors. Or worse, they're in on it and they're like, oh, let's pretend that this is a real position. What and golly gee, there was nothing they could do. And that way corporate goons will win like our bosses. Uh, and then I, I look to give you a sense of again, because there's so much propaganda, we try to push past that propaganda. Because if if you watch cable news, including MSNBC, they'll treat the parliamentarian as a god. And it was your, oh my god, you have to pray down to like as if the, it's the most important position. So think about the consequence here. For the dreamers in this particular provision, they've been saying that they're gonna protect the dreamers for decades now. And these are wonderful, the, the best of us. Great grades, served in the military, etc. Willing to risk their lives for America. We said we'd protect them. We've been lying to them all this time, and can to finally deliver for that. On the other hand, the parliamentarian. Yeah. Are you serious? And some of the provisions in the bills, it's like would create literally millions of jobs in creating renewable energies, but the parliamentarian. No, anyone who says, "Oh, Chuck Schumer thought the parliamentarian was more important than millions of jobs." or delivering for dreamers, etc., is basically saying, screw the voters. We were always lying to them. This has always been a corporate trick. And that's that's the reality of what's happening here. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.